So you're testing a website for HTML injection. And the current web page you're in is HTMLI underscore get.php. All you see are these two fields. So we want to test these fields. And the first thing that we want to do is we just want to put input regular information in here. So since they're first name and last name fields, let's just put in a first name and a last name. So I'm going to put Tiger Woods just to test this out and I'm going to hit enter. I hit enter and what do we see? What did the website do with the information we entered? Well, it grabbed the first name and the last name and it's displaying it back on the website and it added welcome in front of it. So at first glance, you might think, oh, well, this is pretty harmless. But the fact that it is reflecting it back on the screen might indicate that we have some sort of reflected vulnerability. And the reason it's called reflected because it's reflecting back what we entered into the fields. So because it reflected back normal content, the next thing we want to do is let's enter some HTML code. HTML code is what makes up the website. So we're going to do a simple tag, which is h1, which starts for main header or the principal header. And we're going to do h1 and then we're going to say, you got hacked. And we're going to close it. So these are what, what they are, what are called labels. And then here we're going to say, let's do an h2 tag. And let's, let's say, destination pound tester. Okay, so we're going to do this right now and we're gonna hit go. Ah, so what do we have here? Notice that we have the welcome just like we did before, but now we have what we entered, the first and the last name. This is the information we enter for each field, but they're formatted. Why do they appear this way? And what does it mean? Does it mean that the website is vulnerable? Indeed it does. And the reason it does is because it is formatted. The reason that it looks that way, it is formatted um, the same way that we see the title here, okay? So that means that the HTML tag that we entered got executed by the web application and it's saying, hey, let me execute this code as code instead of just redisplaying it as a field, as normal characters and content. So for example, if I were to do this, if I were to do the same as before, okay, but instead of H1, now I'm just going to do B as in bold. And then in the second one, I'm just going to do italics, which should just be I. When I hit go, what we should see is welcome. And then you, it should say you got hacked in bold and destination pen tester in italics. And that's exactly what we get. You got hacked bold and destination pen tester in italics. So how do you fix this vulnerability? There are several ways to fix this vulnerability. And uh, one of them, and the way that BWAP here does it at a higher security level, is that they use a function called string replace, or str underscore replace, where they are replacing the lesser than and then the greater than characters or special characters um, into something else. So that now, whenever you enter those characters, the application is no longer reading them as a special character part of code, but it's just reading it as a string. So right now I have set the security level to medium, which is one level higher than where we were before, which was low. And we're going to do the same test that we did before. So we're going to do you got hacked. And we're going to utilize the station pen tester. Notice that we're using the main header and then a secondary header um, as the HTML tags. So they should look something like this. They should look formatted. That's what they should look like. We're gonna hit go and let's see what happens. Notice that now the application says welcome and then displays the tags as just regular string. Meaning that even though it's reflecting it, it is not utilizing that and executing that code. If it did, then our string here or our input would look more like this, but it did not do that. 
Now, we just looked, la looked at the code of the application not too long ago. All they're doing to sanitize it is they're just sanitizing the lesser than and the greater than. Well, what if we use equivalents of those, like URL encoded less than and greater than, to execute the code? Will the application do it? Well, let's take a look. So what we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to go to urlencoder.org and we're going to paste our payload right here in this top box and we're going to hit encode. And what this is doing is it's encoding it in URL format. Notice that you still have the you got hacked, but now all of the special characters are encoded URL format. Let's see if this gets around the parameters or the controls that they put in place and let's see if our payload goes through and gets executed as code rather than just being printed as a string. Okay, so we entered our payload in the first name, the station pen tester as the last name. And you see, they got hacked. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video.